Stephen and Rap here. Welcome to the Kilty Coaches Channel. Hey, <laughs> so today it's all about going for your goals. Ready, steady, go for your goals. Something you've got an idea, something you want to achieve, but you don't have a method of getting there. So imagine for a second you're stuck in the middle of the woods. All the trees around you signify the nonsense that's going on in his head, too many thoughts, too many feelings, too much stresses and strains. You want to get out into the open, but you can't see the forest for the trees. Hey. <laughs> so you can see the opening, and it's just a case of ready, steady, go. And we'll explain exactly what we mean. Now, this is our, our own version of the stages of change model. So it's important that when you want to make any changes in your health and fitness, it's knowing whereabouts on this particular model you fall. So this is a pretty well-known model, but we've tweaked it because we like to use our own language. It just makes us happy. <laughs> so at the top here, if you're content, typically speaking, that means you're happy the way you are. If that is you, then you're just enjoying this video for the kilts more than likely, or maybe just like the sounds of the accents. That's fine, just keep enjoying the video. Absolutely. If you've had an aha moment, okay, if you've recognised in yourself that you something has to change, it might be due to your ill health, your energy levels, what you see when you look in the mirror, that ah. moment. Which then will hopefully lead into fired up. So then there might be some of you watching this video that are fired up. That means you're in the ready stage and you're ready to go gung-ho. But if you are in the aha uh -huh moment, we need to get you from here to there to get stuck in. Now that happens with just a simple belief that it is possible for you to achieve whatever you want to achieve. To desire something is to believe in its possibility. So if you want to lose weight, it is possible. You just have to believe in yourself. So let's get fired up. If you've been here, let's move to here. And if you're fired up, then the only thing left to do at the moment is get stuck in. Let's get stuck in. This is where you just take action on your goals. Whatever that aha moment was, you got fired up, you got a fire in your belly, you're like, yes, take action. Right now, doesn't matter what it is, Everybody knows, already knows a few things that you could be doing, but you're not. So let's get them done. Now you might be watching this, that you've tried this in the past, you got stuck in, and then unfortunately you felt like you fell off the wagon, and you felt that failure was final. But it's not. It is a part of the stages of change. Falling off the, va the wagon? The wagon? I'm very wagon? German now. <laughs> yes. Falling off the wagon yes. uh, is a very normal part of the process. So if you do fall off the wagon, it's about getting back on, learning from your mistakes and getting stuck back in, which is where we come to our last point here, stick to the damn plan, our main motto. So well, like anything, once you make a plan, you stick to the damn plan. It's as simple as that. So whatever your goal is, whatever that aha moment is or was, you work through, you fire up, you get stuck in, you might have fallen off the wagon from time to time, but regardless, you have the resolve, you have the resilience to stick to the damn plan. Whatever that goal is, that is the plan and you stick to it. So this is where we prep for what you want with what you have, all right? Emphasizing what you have because you've got a lot. Now some people want to make changes this year but are on a budget. So the idea of a gym membership or expensive equipment is out the window. But that doesn't mean that you can't get fit. That doesn't mean you can't make changes. You can work around it. There is always a workaround. Okay, so uh, this is going to fall into three different categories. The first one being the physical things that you have around you, whether it's clothing or equipment. You can utilise uh, bottles, like t big two litre bottles of water for, as weights. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's got some sort of clothing that they can wear. And actually, even if it means training in your bare feet in your house, that you don't even need fancy trainers. If you want it bad enough, you'll make it work. Then there's the emotional side of things as well. When it comes to the emotional side of things, a lot of people come to us and say, oh, I just wish I had more willpower. They think, okay, I wish I had more self-confidence. I wish I was happier myself. Um, uh, where do you get your motivation from? And you have all those things. Maybe not for your weight loss goal, but you do have them in other areas of your life. So it's important to look at that and bring them in. Okay, use the confidence you've got in other areas of your life and bring it into your fitness. 
And then the third section is to do with abilities. Now some people are carrying injuries or they've been born with certain disabilities that prevent them doing certain movements. What we always say is focus on what you can do rather than what you can't and work around it. When our members come to us to say, um, Rab, Stephen, I am... Um, I've had a knee operation so my knee doesn't bend that way anymore, X, Y, Z. We're like, great, here are some workarounds. There's always workarounds. Focus on what you want using what you have. So it's RIP body fat. So RIP, okay, yeah, maybe rest in peace, but no, 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 no. When it comes to your training, when it comes to your nutrition, and even when it comes to your own personal psychology, we have three principles that we stick to in order for you to see absolute success. Now, as we said, you do not need a big expensive budget. If you apply these principles to your goals, you will find success. This is what we do when training clients. We don't kill them, but we, <laughs> <laughs> but we apply these principles and that's why our clients get results. So the R is regular. So your goals, your nutrition needs to be regular, your exercise, whatever level you're at needs to be regular. Your mindset. Everybody knows that you don't get absolute success from doing something once in a while or doing something then going back to a normal lifestyle. It's the way you live your life. Plain and simple. Which brings us on to the I, which is intensity. Mm -hmm. Intensity is basically stepping out of your comfort zone. Whether it's with your training, whether it's from your nutrition, or whether it's even from your personal psychology, the things that you're maybe scared of or uncomfortable with. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's intense. Make sure you're stepping out of that comfort zone. Pushing yourself regardless of where you are, as long as you're, as Stephen said, stepping forwards and making your body feel uncomfortable, then you're going to make progress. Which brings us on to the P, progression. You have to progress things. There's no point getting good at something and then just sitting there content. You've got to then step up again. So if you get really good at walking around your block, don't just keep walking around the block. Walk further, faster. Do. There's lots of ways you can step it up. Now, if you've got points number one and two nailed down, if you are regular, if that's just the way you're living your life now, and you're always looking to make it intense, it's kind of like buy two, get one free. Okay, <laughs> it has, in nature, it has, a bargain. To, it has to be progressive because it won't continue to be intense because your body will adapt. And that's ultimately what we are looking for to happen. Okay, whether it's training, nutrition, mindset, you will adapt, your brain will adapt, your body will adapt, your soul will adapt. And sooner or later, you're going to have to make it progressive to keep it being intense. So regular, intense, progressive, ready, steady, go for your goals. You've got this. Ready. ready. Steady. Go, go, go. Go for your goals. Hope you enjoyed today's video. So if you did, ring the notification bell, like, comment, subscribe, share, tell your granny. <laughs> Pop into the comments your thoughts, your feelings and your emotions. Go deep! Oh, steep!